Hello, welcome. Take a moment, try this problem out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so we're told that Elizabeth waited for six minutes at the drive-thru for her favorite fast food restaurant the last time she visited. She was upset about having to wait that long and notified the manager. The manager assured her that her experience was very unusual. Okay, very unusual. Six minutes and that it would not happen again. A study of customers commissioned by this restaurant found an approximately normal distribution of results. Okay, so this is pretty typical on Algebra 2. Test, you're going to see a normal distribution kind of question. The mean wait time, so the mean was 226 seconds. Okay, and the standard deviation was 38 seconds. Okay. So we're given all this time here in seconds. Given the data and using a 95% confidence, 95 percent level of confidence, was Elizabeth's wait time unusual? Justify your answer. Okay, so for a 95% level of confidence, what they're expecting you to recognize is that you can take the mean, which is 226, and add or subtract two of the standard deviations to see what you would expect to get. So let's look at, uh, this is our, our normal curve, normal distribution right here. On the bottom we're counting the number of standard deviations we have within one standard deviation on either side of your of your mean. This is the mean right here, right in the middle. So call this mu. Uh, you have about 68% of all your data. But then within two standard deviations on either side, you have 13.6 plus 13.6 plus 34.1 plus 34.1. It's really close to about 95% of your data. So you're looking for 95% confidence interval. You're taking the mean and adding and subtracting two standard deviations from it. Now, if you do this, right, you're going to get two things. You're going to get, um, let's say, I'll write it this way. And then I would write it this way first, 226 plus 2 times 38, and then 226 minus 2 standard deviations. And then you could say this is 302, and 226 minus 2 times 38 is 150. So you can say that yes, this is unusual, unusual, since 360 seconds, that's five minutes, or sorry, six minutes. This is six minutes. And I would write six minutes equals 360 seconds. Which I'm trying to show in a brief way where that number came from. Is outside of two standard deviations, standard deviations. From the mean. Now that's one way to say it. All right, you're saying it's outside. It's it's not within. It's not between 150 and 302. You know, if 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 it was between 150 and 302, it might be more reasonable to say, okay, yeah, that's somewhat ex expected. It's outside, but but it is outside the 95% range of um, results. And you might add that on there. Let's say from the mean, and say, oops, and is outside the 95% confidence interval. So you're, you're stating that. it's You recognize it's connected to that. It's not a part of that. Um, you could also look at it in other ways. Um, you can calculate the z-score of what you're dealing with. So let's just look at that real quick. So another way to do it. Now, a z-score is just uh, the, essentially the number of standard deviations that your number is from the mean. So if you were exactly one standard de deviation above the mean, your z-score would be one. If your z-score is negative one, that means you're exactly one standard deviation below the mean. So the question is, how many standard deviations is she from the mean? And so that's another way of looking at it. You could say, okay, well here in this case, what, what do we know? We know that the mean is 226 seconds and we know the standard deviation is 38 seconds and what else do we know we know that the number of seconds she waited so our z-score 
z-score is essentially uh, the data point you're looking at x minus the mean that's the distance essentially between your data point and the mean divided by the number of standard deviations so it tells you how many standard deviations that distance is made up of so we do 360 that's her data point x how long she waited minus 226 over 38 and now when you do this you get uh, about 3.53 we'll put that's about 3.53 and then you could say yes, this is unusual because because her her wait time is over three standard deviations from the mean, so it's outside of the confidence interval. That's another way of looking at it. All right, hope that helps.